to our short series of videos by the Gary Smith Partnership on the 10 charts that should be on your Salesforce dashboard. Here's the funnel guru himself, Gary Smith. Hello, in this video, we're going to cover my favorite chart on the dashboard. In fact, if I could only have one chart and one report to manage the sales pipeline, it would be this one here. It shows the pipeline by close date and opportunity stage. In other words, it shows the value of opportunities that are due to close each month. And within the month, we can see where those deals are in terms of opportunity stage and the sales process. So, for example, in October, there are £600,000 worth of opportunities due to close. And by hovering over the chart, we can see how that value is split by the various opportunity stages. This is powerful information from a management point of view. Let's say, for example, that we are in the middle of October right at the moment. And let's assume our typical sales cycle is three months. So as a sales manager, looking at my October projected revenue, I'd want to know just how robust the October pipeline really is. These deals that are in prospecting, for example. If our average sales cycle is three months, are we seriously saying that we are going to close these deals this month? Should some of them be at a more advanced stage? So the close dates need to be moved to a later month. The same with the investigation and proposal made stages. Are we really going to close these opportunities this month? Because if not, my October pipeline is significantly overinflated. Let's look at another month. What about those deals in the negotiation stage in December? Is it really going to take us three months to close those deals? Is there anything that we can do to bring them forward? In fact, looking at December, we have a lot of pipeline that's due to close that month. But just how robust is that? Are these deals in December because the financial year of a lot of customers ends in December and that's when we can legitimately expect a lot of deals to get done? Or... Have many of these opportunities been sitting in our pipeline for a long time? And salespeople have put in December as the close date on the basis, well, the opportunity is bound to be closed by then. If that is the case, then the December pipeline is nowhere near as strong as we might think. And what about January? There's a dip in the size of the pipeline. Is this due to legitimate seasonal variation? Or is it something I should be concerned about? Do I need to start organising some marketing campaigns now with a view to boosting the pipeline three or four months from now? One other thing. Let's stick with our assumption that right now we're in the middle of October. What are these deals doing here? The ones with a closed date in September. Because unless you really do have a time turner, these deals aren't going to close in September. But you see this very often. Open opportunities with closed dates in the past. Either those deals have already closed and the stage hasn't been updated, or they are still open and the close date needs to be changed. So the chart really gives sales managers visibility of the sales pipeline in a meaningful and useful way. And of course, like any other chart, it doesn't just need to be visible to sales managers. Team leaders and individual sales reps can manage their own sales pipeline using this exact same chart. So let's go down to the underlying report. Here are the close dates that we saw in the chart and the specific value of opportunities that are due to close each month and by each opportunity stage. And like any other report, 
we can click on the Show Details button to see the underlying opportunities. And that's how you can start to interrogate the opportunities that make up the chart and the report data. In fact, if you right-click on any opportunity, you can open it in a new tab and then examine the opportunity details. So let's create the report and the dashboard chart. We'll start on the Reports tab, click on New Report, select an Opportunities report. We can adjust the basic filters. We want open opportunities. We don't need any time scale because we want all open opportunities. And we'll create it as a matrix report. On the left hand side, we'll choose opportunity stage. And across the top of the report, we'll choose close date. Let's adjust the date format to group by calendar month. Now let's pull in the amount field. We can remove the record count and set the report to hide details. Let's run the report and have a look at it. That looks good, so now let's create a chart directly in the report. I'll select a bar chart. On the Y axis, I'll choose the opportunity amount. And on the X axis, I'll select the close date. And then I'm going to group by opportunity stage. I'll choose the stacked bar chart and I'll make some changes to the chart formatting. I'll put the legend below the chart, enable the hover, and I'll put the chart below the report. So let's run that. There's my report along with the chart. So now let's save that. Now we're ready to create the dashboard chart. Let's go to the dashboard. And we can add a new dashboard component. Let's find the report that we want to use for the dashboard chart and pull it over. But rather than creating a new chart within the dashboard, let's pull in the chart we've already created on the report. Finally, let's give it a header and a title so that people know exactly what they're looking at. And there's our dashboard chart that shows the size of the current sales pipeline grouped by close date and opportunity stage. A powerful report and chart. In the next video, I'll explain how to measure the trend in your sales pipeline, how to tell whether your sales pipeline is growing or shrinking. Thank you for watching. See you on the next video. If you'd like to find out how your business can work with Gary and his team, visit our website at www.garysmithpartnership.com. Thank you for watching.